Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is going to be the formation of um, a condensation polymer, polyethylene terephthalate, and it's formed from the reaction of the two monomers, ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid. If you want to have a look at one of the addition polymers um, before starting these condensation polymers, um, I'll put the link for the addition polymers in the description box. Those are good to review before getting started with the condensation. I find the addition polymers are a little easier than the condensation polymers. All right, so we're going to get started here. I'm going to choose my pencil and... When we go to do a condensation polymer such as this one, it's a little different than the addition. It's a different reaction. It's not necessarily a step one, two, three like we see with the addition polymers. This one is um, a reaction between a diacid, terephthalic acid, and ethylene glycol, which is a dialcohol. I'm going to start with my diacid structure. Now you have to keep in mind that this particular process is going to grow the polymer chain from both acid groups. So the left side of the molecule and the right side of the molecule. I'm only going to show the chain growing from the right side of the molecule just uh, to keep it a little, you know, smaller, a little less confusing. So we have our terephthalic acid, there we go, and this is going to react with ethylene glycol. Oh gosh, my bad, sorry. Let's get that in there for a second. All right, so CH2, CH2. And then an OH group on either side. In order to start this reaction, we need a lot of heat represented by the triangle here over the arrow and a strong acid H plus usually sulfuric concentrated sulfuric acid the terephthalic acid being a carboxylic acid is going to very easily lose the hydrogen off of that COOH functional group the alcohol the ethylene glycol is going to lose the OH and together they're going to form water two monomers are they're going to join together at the place where each one of them has lost something. So our carbon of the CH2 is missing a bond. The oxygen of the diacid is also missing a bond. So that carbon is going to attach to this oxygen. I'm going to redraw the acid minus that hydrogen because the hydrogen is now gone in to make water. Just bear with me while I get this drawn here. All right, so here's my acid. The hydrogen is gone off of the end. That's gone to make water. The CH2 from the dye alcohol is then going to attach to this oxygen. So there's a CH2 right here, CH2. The second CH2 and then the other side of that alcohol, the OH. This creates our first ester functional group, which is right here in the middle, the C double bond oxygen, single bond oxygen right in the middle of that molecule. We generally like to see three propagations for all of our polymers. So I'm gonna redraw my structure just on a new line, just to make it a little bit easier to follow. And they can get quite long. You can imagine if I was showing both sides of this acid reacting, right? It's basically twice as long after every step. Thankfully, we're only showing the right side. So only the right side of the molecule is growing here, but keep in mind that both sides actually do grow during this process. All right, so this is an OH now. 
on the end of my molecule, on the right-hand side of the molecule. This is an alternating copolymer, so it's going to add the dye acid. They're going to add in an alternating fashion on each sort of propagation, on each step for each addition. So there's my acid, my terephthalic acid. The OH comes off the alcohol and the hydrogen comes from the dye acid. Lots of heat again, lots of strong acid, sulfuric most likely. And then the two pieces again are going to join together. So this carbon that lost the OH, this is now going to join to the oxygen from the terephthalic acid. And the two pieces are going to join together and we're going to get, you know, a quite a, quite a large structure here. I'm going to move my screen a little bit so I can draw this. So just bear with me while I get this drawn. And again, thankfully I'm not showing both sides because it can get quite um, large very quickly. So there's my um, O, and then to another carbon that has a double bond oxygen, and also the benzene ring attached with the COOH on the end. This is now two ester functional groups, and I'll just kind of outline them a little bit here so you can see them. There's one right there. COOC functional group and there's the other side of it right there. There's the second and like I said we generally like to see three three functional groups. All right so just in the interest of space I'm going to continue on from this molecule here. This is now a COOH at the right hand side the furthest right hand side so it's an acid functional group. To this uh, because this is alternating I'm going to add the ethylene glycol, the CH2, CH2, and the OH on either end. The hydrogen comes off of the acid and the OH comes from the alcohol. Together they're going to make water. I don't think I showed that in the earlier step actually. Every time these join together a water molecule is also formed. Okay, because it is a condensation polymer. So water forming or water removing from the monomers after every step. Lots of heat again, lots of strong acid, sulfuric acid, and then the two pieces are now going to join together a third time. So again, this carbon has lost its OH. This is going to join to the oxygen from that polymer. So I'm going to try to draw this chain and see if I can fit it all on screen here. All right, so double oxygen, single. Then we've got a CH2 and a CH2. I'm not going to draw the hydrogen, but keep in mind there are two hydrogens attached to those carbons. Then we've got another oxygen, then my carbon double bond, benzene, C double bond O, and then the O, CH2, CH2, OH. So two hydrogens here even though I'm not going to write them in. Same thing up here, of course. I didn't write, I didn't draw the lines, but those are also hydrogen right there. All right. If I wanted to, I could continue this process again. Now this is an OH at the end of this molecule, the furthest right hand of the molecule. It's a OH. It's the alcohol group because it's alternating. It would now add the dye acid, and I would do the whole process again. But again, this is getting very long, right? It's getting very big. The molecule is, you know, very huge at this point. And again, growing from both sides, not just the right-hand side. But we generally like to see three, three additions. So there's my three esters, COOC, for each one. 
So I'm going to stop at this point. There is no, um, you know, set termination. Just like in the additions, the additions had a step one, two, three, and three was a termination. There is not a really a termination step in this phase or in this polymer. It's more just the reverse of how you start the reaction. So the reaction needs heat and a strong acid in order to uh, begin. So in order to stop this process, we're going to cool it down. So we're going to remove the heat and we're going to add a base to neutralize the strong acid. And that would be essentially enough to stop the polymer process and then you could collect your product. Um, I hope this is a little bit uh, helpful to anybody coming back and looking to review this type of question. This is very possible as a um, quiz or a final exam question this term. So make sure you give this a try yourself, try the process, and then a couple days later, try it again. It's very repetitive. And then after you, you know, work with this question a couple of different times, um, you'll see that it's not terribly difficult. Uh, it is very repetitive, which is nice. And it's uh, a little bit easier to grasp after a couple of tries. So give it a try on your own. And of course, let me know if you have any questions. All right. Take care, everyone.